They said it was just a kitchen table experiment, a strange paste mixed by a quiet British inventor named Maurice Ward, who claimed he discovered it by accident. A substance that could stare into the mouth of a blowtorch and refuse to burn, a material that stayed cool to the touch even while the flame roared like a miniature star. Scientists doubted him until they tested it. Starlight didn't simply resist heat, it ignored it. They blasted it with temperatures that melt steel into a lazy red puddle. They fired lasers at it. They pushed and pushed, waiting for the material to surrender. But it never did. Ward showed them an egg coated in starlight. They aimed a 2,000 degree flame directly at the shell for minutes. The egg should have burst, boiled, collapsed, yet when they cracked it open, it was still raw. That's when interest shifted, not curiosity, ownership. Defense companies circled like quiet vultures. Governments made offers heavy enough to tilt the room. Ward refused every one of them. He said he didn't trust big hands holding small things, the kind of statement that makes powerful people nervous. Soon the test stopped being public. Then the interest went silent. Then the inventor himself passed away, taking the formula with him. Some say he never took notes. Some say he hid the recipe somewhere no one would think to look. Some say Starlight was never a material at all, but a demonstration, a threat dressed like a miracle. And yet, every few years, strange fragments appear online. Scraps of white material claiming to have survived impossible temperatures. Anonymous videos showing Starlight-like coatings brushed onto metal. Rumors of aerospace labs testing thermal anomalies that look suspiciously familiar. If Morris Ward truly took the secret to the grave, then the world lost one of the most extraordinary discoveries in modern history. But if he didn't, then someone, somewhere, is holding a material that can walk through fire without blinking. And that kind of secret doesn't stay buried for long.